When my mother first came to America, she left behind my father and three-year-old brother to work in a hospital in Richmond, Virginia, where the only person she knew was the Peace Corps volunteer who stayed with a family when she was just a teenager. The East Coast is cold during the winter and there are no blizzards in the rainforest. The first lesson a Filipino learns in America is how to find warmth. Back home, the president has consolidated his power and declared martial law. He says it is for the good of the country. The communists, he says, want to kill us. The Muslim extremists, he says, want to kill us, and only he knows what's best for the people. How do you say to your child, we'll see each other again. Just hold on. It won't be too long if you can't be certain. My mother is a woman of great faith. Great faith is never acquired with ease. Each day is a mountain, and you carry the weight of distance behind you. I imagine the day my father finally arrived was the first day he'd ever seen his own breath in the air. That this was the day my brother learned our mother keeps all of her promises. When they made me, I thought I was just a piece of clay they found on a Virginia beach that they took across the whole of the country. Five days on the road with nothing left to discover because every journey isn't meant to become an awakening of ourselves. We moved to San Francisco and lived next to the animals at the zoo, next to an ocean that was the only thing connecting us to home. One day, my mother opens her stomach and asks my father to place me there for safekeeping. Each day, they coax the fires in her belly. At night, we listen to the songs of lost creatures. We were at home with all these living things that were far away from home. I wonder what it is like to give birth to a child who will belong to another country. Who becomes the foreigner then? Which one of you is truly displaced? What do I get to be in this new country? The birth of a new world from her parents or the death of an old one? There's a price to knowing you are both a thing that creates and destroys just by being. And still, they will love you. And to be loved can never be painless. What do we think about our featured poet?